Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been so long, but I was busy over Christmas, but yeah, I'm here to film my December wrap-up. Okay, during the month of December I read five books and one graphic novel, which I would count as six books, but most people will probably say that graphic novel is not a book, but to me it is, so I'm saying I read six books. And that's the best I've ever done. I've never read that many books in one month in my life. So I'm very proud of myself. And yeah, I'm going to show you the six books that I read now, so let's go! Okay, so the first book I read was Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Um, I read this book just after I finished City of Glass in November, and I jumped straight into this one because, according to publication, you should read this one next after City of Glass, so I went with that. And I absolutely loved this book. This is the first book in the Infernal Devices, which is like a little... A trilogy before the Moral Instruments, so yeah. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. I flew through, I read it really quick. I think I read it in like, in like three days. I loved it, I just couldn't put it down. Absolutely loved it. I, th I don't know, I think I might like this series more than the Immortal Instruments, but I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it, and yeah, I cannot wait to start Clockwork Prince. So yeah. And I get this book five stars, of course. Okay, after I read that, I wanted to get a break from Cassandra Clare because I had read City of Glass and then I read Clockwork Angel, so I wanted to read something else that I just ha had on my shelf for a while and I just thought I'd read it. And that is Arcadia Awakens by Kai Meyer. I've shown this before in a video. It's about, it's a book based in Sicily. And it's about this girl who moves from the, uh, the United States to uh, her sister and her auntie in Sicily and she goes there and she finds out that her, like her family, auntie's family and everything, they're all part of a, a, a mafia clan and she meets a boy and the boy is of a different clan and they're supposed to be sworn enemies and then she one night she discovers that she's a shapeshifter so yeah, I'm not going to say what she shapeshifts into because that's a bit of spoiling but yeah, it's really, really good. I really enjoyed it, but it wasn't five stars worthy, basically. I gave it four stars, but I really, really enjoyed it, and I'll definitely be continuing on with the trilogy. After I read Arcadia Awakens, I did a read along with Ilse over at Ilse Books. I'll leave a link to her in the description. And we read Hollow City by Ransom Riggs, the second book in Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I absolutely loved this. I think this is probably my second favourite book I read this month. I, I, oh, I love this so much. I love this so much better more than this, the first one. And yeah, I love the characters. I just love, especially Olive. just love them. And I really like the romance in this book. And I'm usually not a person who likes romance in books. But I absolutely love the romance in this book. And yeah, so I, I absolutely flew through it. I loved it. And I just love the pictures. However, there is one picture in it and it's a flipping clown. And if you know me, you know that I am petrified of clowns, so that picture creeped the fuck out of me. I really enjoyed it, and I cannot wait for the third one. I cannot wait for the third one. It's going to be amazing. So, yeah. And I got this five stars, of course, because I just loved it. After I read Hollow City, I had to read a book that I showed in my Unread Books video, which I'll leave a link to in the description if you want to see it. And everyone in that, in the comment section of that, told me to read this book. So I was like, okay, I have to read it since everyone is like, come on, Kevin, read it. And that book is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Maas. And I'm so happy that everyone told me to read this because I absolutely loved it. This was by far my favourite book of the month. I just love this series. Like, it's got me so into fantasy. Like, I, all I want to read right now is fantasy. It's all I want to read. And yeah, so this in January, my January wrap up, don't be shocked when you see a lot of fantasy books because that's what I'm in the mood for. So yeah, I really love this. I love Selena. She's just my favorite, one of my favorite me uh, protagonists. I think she's amazing. And I love Sarah J. Maas's writing. I can't wait for her new book. I can't remember the name. I know it's like A Court of Thorns or something like that and it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling about fairies included into it so I'm excited to read it 
And yeah, I love this book. It's so flipping good. Five stars, obviously. Then after that, I read a book for Christmas to get me in the Christmassy mood. And I haven't actually hauled this book yet, but it's going to be in my haul that will be out next week. And that is Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. And this is a, like three short stories and the characters intertwine in the end and it's Christmassy related. But yeah, I absolutely love this book. I read this really quick as well. Um, I really loved Maureen Johnson's story and John Green. More Maureen Johnson. I loved her story. I loved John Green. It reminded me a lot of Paper Towns because it was really funny. Lauren Miracle, uh, I didn't love as much but I still really like really enjoyed it and yeah I give this book five stars because it was exactly what I wanted to read it was a Christmassy book got me in a Christmassy mood and that's exactly what I wanted it to do so it lived up to what I was expecting so five stars and then finally the last book I read was the graphic novel and that was Saga Volume 2 by Brian K. Pawn and Fiona Stables I literally loved this graphic novel series it's amazing I also ordered uh, volume 4 and it should be in coming next week so I'll have an unboxing of that probably and yeah I've also read volume 3 but I read that in January technically so it's been going to be my January wrap up but yeah I love it and the artwork is just really good and I love it I just I really really enjoyed it and it's got me so much in the graphic novels so yeah and I'm really really loving this series okay so that's all the books that i read in december i think i had a really really good reading month because all of the books were four stars up so i think i had a really good reading month but yeah i will have my christmas slash january book haul up next week i'm just waiting for two packages to come from the book depository because i want to have my book haul and then do an unboxing in the same video because i just might as well so yeah, I will. That will be will be up soon. So look out for that. And I hope you all had a really really good Christmas. I had a brilliant Christmas. I loved it. Got loads of books, and you'll see them all. Also, I'm loving my hoodie. It's from Bleak Apparel, and it's a Milky Way jumper, and I flipping love it. I'm wearing it the whole time. It's just so flipping cool. Yeah. So I will see you guys all next week with my January and Christmas book haul. So. Until then, goodbye.